from the heart of Broadway in the historic <laughs> downtown Cape Girardeau. Thank you so much once again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for Sunday, Random Sunday here on the Podzilla 1985 Network. With me, your host, Shannon Young. With me tonight are Zach Price from Pro Wrestling Unscripted. Back on the one of the non-wrestling shows for once. Zach, hey. Yo, how's it going? It's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> right? It's hot today. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, it was just muggy and uncomfortable. Uh, next to Zach is Jesse Kimball from Nerd Up and the Marvelous Jesse and Chris. Jesse, how you doing? I really miss having AC in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a is that a topic tonight or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can be. Uh, yeah, no, it was just hot and muggy, and then driving around in my car, not helping. So can you give me a little driving around in my automobile <laughs> with my baby at the wheel <laughs> with no AC to keep me cool? <laughs> hey, speaking of cool, this cool motherfucker next to Jesse is Lindsay Wolfgang. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. How you? I'm doing? the only one in a hoodie. Because I'm not burning up. Yeah, how are you doing that, by the she way? She always does that. She is a hoodie lover. It's like her and that mentally handicapped laptop kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, my God. You're starting early. <laughs> I mean, like, okay. So, I found out that laptop kid, legitimately mentally handicapped. Is it bad that I can tell the way he talked to us? Do what? I can tell by the way he talked to us. Oh, yeah, but... Like, yeah, we, he almost got beat up by Shannon. Well, yeah, a couple times. No, I knew he was mentally handicapped. I could have told you that. He he came in here once with uh, the uh, the group that's around here that that runs around with the, the handicapped guy. Yeah, Fonzie. Oh, no, that's another show. For See, another I didn't time. know about that. I just know. Uh, well, he knew them. Uh, like he okay. wasn't here with them, but he was here, and they said, "Hey," and he uh, the things and such. Yeah, because I know he uh, it, he's super socially awkward, and I feel like there's a fine line between like really socially awkward and then socially awkward because you have a mental handicap. So and, are you uh, are you now in defense of this gentleman? No. Okay then. Good. All right. No. <laughs> Moving on. That's a definitive no. Uh, we got a pretty good show for you tonight. Not great, but <laughs> good. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be talking about some serious topics, and we got a lot of great feedback from Facebook from you guys. Uh, and what are you like? I was really hoping already? you were gonna do the David Letterman thing just then. Oh, uh, it said, well, we got a show for you tonight, folks. And gosh, I wish it could be better. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Only Hunter can do that. That's a Hunter <laughs> thing. Uh, before we get started with the topics at hand, though, I do want to talk about, uh, there was a man recently revealed to have a 19 inch penis. You really? Zach. I don't want to talk about it. What don't you want to talk about? The extra skin that makes it 19 inches. But what is it though? What two words, what's the words that you don't want Careful, to Careful, he's trying to get you to violate your probation. A uh, penis. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> My, what, what does Asa say? My wiener. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I miss Asa. Where's he at? I don't know. I figured he was going to be on the show. Honestly, I, I meant to ask him, and I, I didn't. I didn't ask anybody. Did to you John Massey him too? No, I didn't tell him about it. I didn't tell anybody about the show. You, you, you don't have shoe to tell your Sunday. way in. You just got here. You don't have to tell anybody that it's a Sunday random show. We just know you're going to do one. Yeah, but we ha- sometimes we don't do it. Yeah, last we week haven't we done it do for one. a couple weeks actually. Well, that's not true. <laughs> well, no, yeah, because last week we didn't do one, and the week before was the reaction show, wasn't it? Oh, to um, uh, SummerSlam. SummerSlam, yeah. yeah. And you were there for that one, weren't you? Yeah. So yeah, it has been a while since we've done a Sunday Random Sunday. Yeah, it's not. Slam. It's called Sunday Random Sunday, not Sunday Consistent Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Because it's not very consistent. Uh, but we got some good stuff to talk about today. Let's jump right off. What do you want? Which one do you want to go with first? You want to go for the top story? Or do you do the 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 reach arounds? You might as well start with the reach arounds. Start with the reach arounds, and then we get to the top story. All right. Which one's the top story? Kim Davis. Yeah. yeah that's, Spoiler uh, alert. Stay tuned for the main event. Stay tuned for the main event of the evening. Uh, let's start by talking about L- Lila Perry. We'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do anger, happy anger. How about that? Okay. All right. So Lila Perry, for those of you that don't know, uh, it's actually not a local story, but it's kind of local. It's in Missouri. It's in Hillsboro, Missouri. So you said it was Kentucky. I say a lot of things. I think I said that on the, uh, Nerd Up show this morning. Hillsboro, you did like say Aubrey's. Missouri this morning. And then no, I said Kentucky this morning. I think you said Missouri this morning, and then you said Kentucky when we were doing the pre-show. No, oh, well, good because Missouri is where it's at. It's in Hillsboro, Missouri, which I don't know where that is. Maybe it's up by Hillsboro, Illinois. You think they just share? A they name just share the border because they're so close to each other, like Texarkana. What about Kansas City? What about Kansas? Isn't City? Isn't there a Kansas City in Kansas and Kansas City, in Missouri? And they're like right there beside is. each other. Uh, they're not. Oh well, yeah, I guess they are almost right. And Jesse, what what about Texarkana? What what about Texas? Now what is that again? It's a city that's both in Texas and Arkansas or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's right on the border. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a serial yeah. killer there, according to a movie. No, I mean they're legitimately they, they based the movie on what the. What serial does they like? 
What's that? What's too little be like? <laughs> uh, Captain Crunch. Who doesn't? That's a good one. Which which Captain Crunch though? They're traditional. Oh, actually, I like peanut butter a lot. I like peanut butter. Peanut I don't butter like that Captain Crunch shit. is yeah. definitely the best. Lindsay? I don't like Captain Crunch. God damn. You said she was the cool one. Yeah, well, take I was that always back. a Cocoa Crispy person. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Billy, what about you? Berries. <laughs> I, I Billy likes what? Billy likes Fruit Loops, and we're gonna move on. Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> There's no reason my man here can't be on a box of Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> God, that was funny. Oh, pancake. Rufus yeah. Pancake Patterson. Yeah. No, all right. God damn. This is like the Podzillas of old, where we would start on one subject <laughs> and then immediately divert into another subject. Our, our Wikipedia options. Yeah. <laughs> We are Wikipedia. We're the Wicked Podcast. Wicked. Well, we Wiki have podcast. so many sites now, so it's true. I hear. No, let's not start that. Tanner's depressed enough as it is. Yeah, T- Tanner's real upset. about The man that. won't talk to me. He messaged me last night. Wanted me to go to Coin Op with him. I messaged him to say okay, blah blah blah. Never replied. He may not be alive now. Now he was at Coin Op last night. Were you at Coin Op last night? Yeah. Were you? He messaged yeah. you to the wrong site. Hmm. Cause I, I got there a little bit early because Katie was doing her thing at Coin Up. Yeah, and I'm then where uh, I heard about it. Huh. And then Krista did Coin Up after that. Oh, well, that's good. She said she was going to message me, but I can see why she wouldn't. Because I already told her I wasn't going to go. <laughs> she said uh, we might be doing Coin Up on the weekend, and I was like, "Well, you don't have to feel bad about not inviting me because I wouldn't show up." <laughs> To which she flipped me off. Hill status. And then yeah. didn't invite you. And then didn't invite me. But that's fine. I think she was only, I, I don't think she messaged anybody to invite them. It just anybody that was in the store got an invite. It's like Billy was there. I was there. Tanner Wait, Billy was there. Was there? Billy was there. Holy shit. Yeah. I should have went then. Honestly, I think you would have had a miserable time. I've never seen Coin Up as busy as it was last night. Well, Bob and I were going to go. Uh, if he said that Katie was down there and I was like, well, do you want to go? He's like, if you go, I'll go. But I thought, man. It's so busy down there on the weekends and loud, and I don't drink, and I can play video games at home, and I didn't know any of you were down there, so I thought it was just going to be like Katie plus Bob plus random guys and women, and I was like, that doesn't sound fun for me, so I'll just stay home. I think the only two people that ended up showing up for Katie, and I feel kind of bad for her, well, there was like, I showed up, and then... uh, Were you there for Katie, or were you there for Krista? Both. Or did it just coincide with each other? I mean, like, Katie was there earlier, so I got there at about 8.30. And I hung out with Katie for a little while, and then uh, Krista and Josh showed up at 10.30, and we just kind of, like, assimilated the group, sort of. I just realized we're just, like, three, four minutes just talking about our bar plans last night. <laughs> Jeez. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. something funny real quick? We'll change this to Small Talk Sundays. Small Talk Our Sundays. PodZilla, 1985 Facebook, your post you put out three hours ago. Yeah. Only one person was solid. On the PodZilla one? Yeah, the new one. Yeah, It's not... Like, for whatever reason, it's not being posted out, because, like, I posted the Patreon link, and I don't think anybody's seen it. I, I tried to, I posted on a message on there, I tried to share that status, because we talked about it instead of... You can't share them. Well, bef- I thought you I should could, be able to. Yeah, because, like, if I share something, on, like, if I post something on Gaming Grounds, yeah. I can go to my Facebook, go to news, and then share it on my page from Gaming Grounds. I can do that with Nerd Up as well. I but can't do I it can't do it from Podzilla, though. Yeah. It doesn't show up. I wonder if there's a, some, like, if there's a setting to say, I wonder if maybe Tanner, Tanner upset, fucked it actually. up. Tanner fucked it up. Tanner fucked it up. Just, let's just put it that way. He may have just, like, <laughs> taken you really seriously on, like, that you were so upset about creating it that he locked it. Like where like the stuff doesn't go out. I'll have to have a talk with him and and we'll see what happened. Anyway, back to the show at hand. We'll spare the listeners our uh, technical difficulties. It's a growing business, is what it is. It's true. Yeah, it's constantly evolving. Uh, speaking of evolving, there's a man Can't do it. who's Not trying to anymore. evolve into a woman. I don't think that's how that works. But yeah, we can go ahead and talk about Me Lila either. Perry. You're good. All right, Lila Perry. So. Uh, she's a 17 year old high school senior at Hillsborough who is a boy. Sort of. He dresses like a woman. Uh, he wears makeup. He wears a, uh, wig. He, it, that old meme, except for physically, I am a whatever. Mm-hmm. He says he is a girl. And he is changing in the female's locker room. And, and, and going to the female bathroom. Well, uh, last week, a, maj- a bunch of students, I mean, it was kind of split, but I think a majority walked out of the school in protest that he be allowed to uh, use those bathrooms. So we talked about that this morning on Nerd Up a little bit, myself, Jesse, Lindsay, and... Uh, I don't think we actually talked about it on Nerd Not on the air, no, because yeah, that's a subject that 
I don't think a certain someone would want us to talk about on the air. Nope. Because they like to talk about nerd stuff. Right. They don't want to talk about real issues on the air. A lot of people have a problem on this show that they don't want their controversial opinions to be recorded. And I get that. Some people have jobs where that could get them in trouble. I'm not one of them. So let's get controversial. <laughs> uh, here's my problem with this. Her statement. I am a girl. I am not going to be pushed away to another bathroom. You're not a girl. And I, go. I feel bad about saying that because I am 100% in support of gay rights, transgender rights, all of that. I am. I support it. Mm-hmm. But you, she's had no uh, growth hormones. She's had no sex change. Other than the fact that she dresses like a girl, it is a boy. So currently, like, she isn't. And this is like, this is one of the, like, the touchy subjects, like, defining those terms. Uh, she, in my opinion, and by definition, is not transgender. No. Currently, she, he is cross-dressing. Mm-hmm. Yes, and we, we had a conversation with someone earlier, and they said that the definition of transgender has changed is to just, to anyone that identifies as another. Because they bring up the societal definitions of, or society's, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I guess, I guess definition of like society's their... definition of what, uh, boy or girl means. Yes. And, uh, they don't want to limit themselves to that definition. Right. They, it's one of those things that you are what you say you are, what you yeah. feel you are inside. Right. Um, and that's all good and well, Zach. But it's not a girl. It's not. And th- my issue with it is, is that how old are they? 17? Yeah, 17. Okay. And let's say, because typically in the high school I went to, freshmen, juniors, seniors were all in the same gym class. That's the way mine was. Yeah. So, okay. That's, and so you all had to share. I don't think a, a parent of a freshman, who, what are they, 15, 15, 14, however they 14, uh, 15. 14, would like to be yeah. in a, res- a dressing room where somebody who says they're a woman but still has the parts of a man. Yeah, it's be very uncomfortable. It, and that's actually something I brought up earlier. Like, it's one of those things like, you know, outside of this person, I'm sure that this individual really does identify as a girl. Yes. Yeah. There, there's and a, that's fine. Let's say but, that there's no doubt that that is what she identifies yes. as. She's not trying to creep. Right. She's yeah. not trying to creep, but allowing him to change in the female locker room to go to the female or the woman's bathroom, all of that good stuff opens the door for people that are creeping. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because like you get some weird motherfuckers out there that suddenly it's like, oh, well, if as long as I say I identify as a girl, I can use the girl's bathroom and change in the girl's locker room. Done. And that could also cause another issue, because what if somebody who doesn't like him, you know, somebody who doesn't like him, some girl goes in there and says, he's been using this as an excuse to see girls. He's touched me. He's harassed me. You know, he could be using that as an excuse. They could say he's been using an excuse to see these women change. And he touched them, and then that can cause the school to get in a lot of trouble. Yeah, there's there's oh, legal. Yeah, yeah. Ram- I mean, there's, it's, this is not an adult we're talking about. It, just in the same way that, like, you know, under a certain age is not able to consent to sexual relations uh, because they haven't matured and they, you know, what, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the same thing here. There are legal issues with this that could come back and haunt the school. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And it's not though. I don't have any sympathy for this person. I do. Because if you truly feel like you're trapped in a body that's not yours, um, it can be painful. But at the same time, I mean, you really just... Until it's a hard thing to it's talk about. Yeah. It's, it's where their situation's taking place at that's hard for them. The school. The fact that it's a school. Yeah, the fact that it's a school and you're almost of age and there's uh, students in there that are really young of age, probably you know, haven't seen a penis before, you know, it'd be very uncomfortable well, for them. And to be fair, uh, in a girl's locker room, we talked about this, I mean, there would be stalls. It's not like... Not the, in the locker room. Not in the locker, well, locker, locker room. Locker room, no. Bathroom, no. yes. Bathroom, yes. yes. Uh, in the bathroom, obviously, there would be stalls. She wouldn't be... He wouldn't just be sitting there with his dick out. You can let take a shower. Well, again, yeah. Well, if, they, you take, they, if you take showers during your, in your gym class. They tried to offer him... Uh, and I don't even know what to say, him or her. Him? He still has... His, they, yeah. God damn it, Billy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they tried to offer them a, it, that individual, that individual, or you could just say Lila, Lila, Lila. They tried to offer Lila a unisex bathroom to use, a transgender bathroom, gender neutral, and she refused. He refused. It refused. Lila refused. Lila refused <laughs> uh, because it. <laughs> God it, damn it, uh, Lila. Did, fuck it. He didn't want to be alienated. Uh, he didn't want to be dehumanized because of, you know, you have to go to the specific bathroom that is for people of your inkling. 
And uh, it sucks for them, but... They're just going to get ridiculed on either side. They're going to get ridiculed on either side. Well, no, there's no doubt this person's going to go through some shit for her yeah. decisions. He gets beat he up in... fucking cave. If he's cross-dressing and goes to the the women's or the men's room, he's going to get picked on. He's going to oh, get yeah. bullied, beat up, whatever. And you don't want that. And then, yeah, you don't. You definitely don't. And if he goes to the women's room, well, then, you know, he's a creeper. So there's really, like, it's a lose-lose situation regardless. So I don't know why... I I don't I don't know. It's it is it's a difficult thing to do and then to not even make any steps whatsoever toward uh changing your gender. Well it's, and I mean part of that it, though goes with the age. If his parents aren't letting him, then you then can't you do anything until you, you can't turn get the 18. hormones without the parents' permission. Yeah. Or it may be a money issue. They yeah. can't afford that it. Too. You know, they can't afford the treatments. But, it, there's a lot that goes into it. But it's well, not like the school's trying to specifically alienate them. It's that they, it's like they're not seeing the school's side of the view. Yeah, the school's in it's the like, worst it's possible like, hey, position. Right. We understand what you're going through is tough, but we can't allow you to be in here with these, you know, like I keep saying, younger students. We're trying to accommodate you the best we can by giving you a spot where Hey, you can go in here. It's a pro- it's probably one of those private bathrooms that's like how you guys have here. Yeah. It's probably one of those. Just go in there and do your business and get out. I like you're going to sit in there for 20 minutes and gossip with people. Well, I mean, they're girls in a I know, high just school get bathroom. Just get in and get so. out if you don't want to feel like anything. I guess, I, but it's, hard. it's a difficult situation. Here's my problem with this, and I mentioned this earlier, and Jesse, I want to get into this with you because we were on the same side on this, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you say something like, well, I identify, I identify as this, with nothing to back it up other than I identify as this. What kind of doors do you open up for other people? Of And I said this earlier to, the, to people. Uh, if you're a 40-year-old man that identifies as a 16-year-old boy, because there are people, there are people with mental illnesses who legitimately believe that they are this young. They yeah. identify as I that. I mean, like even people with uh, split personality. Yeah, like multiple personality have, yeah, Multiple like personality disorder. So if I say I'm 15... Can I go out with a 14 year old if I'm 40 by age? No. No. They would never let that happen in a million years. So at what point does identification become a problem when people that aren't pushing the same agenda you are come out and say, I am this now. And that creates problems for everybody else. It's really one of those things. It just, it is a slippery slope. And it's, I know it sucks for the trans people. And, you know, it's really unfortunate for them, and I I understand. I obviously cannot relate in any way to yeah, it. We can't comprehend what they go through, but common I, sense. Yeah, I mean, you've got to you've got to understand that the world cannot be accommodating of you without ramifications. It's and they're not gonna be good. No. Like it's just it's not gonna happen. You cannot let, you know, a high school boy decide he wants to change in the in the women's locker rooms. Because he identifies as a girl, even though anatomically, it's a dude. That's that's the thing. The a person we talked to this morning, when I asked that question to them about the age thing, their exact words, well, not exact words, I'm paraphrasing, was basically, well, no, there's, you know, time is a thing you can measure and there's age, so obviously you couldn't be this. And what did we say? Anatomically, that woman is a man because it has a penis. What is the difference? Right. It's all in your mind. Because it's it's not like boy and girl isn't a societal definition. Like, it's an anatomical definition. Yeah. Like, you are a boy if you are a male. And and there are people out there, I've been reading tweets in support of Lila Perry, and that's good. I I want him to be supported. But they're calling everyone bigots and uh, hateful towards transgenders because they don't understand. And they keep saying, this is a girl. This is a woman. She should be treated that way. It's not. Right. It's not a girl. This is a boy. And I mean, like, again, post-op, like, if, or even if they're doing treatments to, like, you know, go in that direction, then it's a different story there. You know, you, yeah, you're, you're trying to turn your body into that of a female. Like, yeah, you feel like you, you feel as though you are a female, but you have a male body. So you try to change your body to reflect what you feel. Yeah. And that's fine. And I'm a okay with that. If you want to do that, you know, you do you. That's a okay. I, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. It's just, uh, you cannot just say, like, I am this. I am this. Yeah. And now I am to be treated like this. Yeah. I posted an article on Blogzilla like a year ago, uh, in support of transgender people and pointing out that humans are humans, treat each other right. And I absolutely believe that. But this person is not transgender. This is just a boy. And I know that's not a PC answer. And I'm probably going to have some people get mad at me yeah. for taking the stance. 
But I got to be honest, it's a boy. And it's I'm probably going to have a lot of people yeah. pissed off at me for the cross-dressing too. comment. Well, it is, though. Yeah. It is cross-dressing. You can't just say, this is a girl. This is not a girl. The definition of girl is a person that has a vagina. This person has no vagina. It has no reproduction. It does not have ovaries. It does not have the reproduction system that a woman has. Right. The things that define them. The things that define a woman. Right. He does not have. He, and anatomically, by science, <laughs> is a boy. Right. And then, like, you also get into the, well, you know, they, they feel that they are a female. And a lot of the people that are in support of Lila Perry and their decision to, you know, I am a girl stuck in a man's body, then you have to ask, like, okay, so how does recognizing that affect your argument for gender equality? Because if you decide that, you know, boys and girls should be able to do everything that the other ones are able to do, and there should be no difference outside of their gender, then why would you say, why would you put the labels on there? Like, I'm a girl in a boy's body. Why can't you just be a... Lila. Yeah, why can't you just be a <laughs> feminine guy? Yeah. Like, to me, arguing for this individual cross-dressing, making them a girl is damaging to equal rights, like gender equality. So what do you do? I don't, like, there's really not a lot you can do. The, the, Lila is just going to have to accept that until he changes his body, he is a boy. I mean, he will continue to be trapped, and that really sucks for them, and I'm sorry, but that's what it is. You are currently a guy. And the views expressed by Podzilla 1985 are those of, of Podzilla 1985. And we don't know what this person's going through, so it's easy for us to judge from here. We call it like we see it. Right. You know, I'm not a transgender. I, nobody at this table is a transgender, as far as I know. I had my doubts, but I've inspected. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I've inspected and can confirm. Female anatomy. <laughs> At this point in her life, she is a female. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like we could talk about this the entire show because this is something that I'm interested in. It's for someone like me who has who has defended and fought for equal rights for like homosexuals and and all of this to now just kind of go, but it's a boy. It's well, like it that is. episode of The Simpsons where Marge is against Itchy and Scratchy because of it's violent and kids shouldn't watch it and it's damaging to them. And uh, she call it, she has this big cause and everyone rallies behind her. And then in the end, they have a statue of Michelangelo's David that they're going to show at the school and everyone's like, oh, Marge, let's go. Let's do this because it's going to damage our kids because of the penis. And she's like, no, I think it's a work of art. She changes. That's kind of how I feel. It's like, here I am with this view of, yes, equal rights. Everyone should do what they want. And now it's, but it's a boy. It is, yeah. I hate that they're labeling him as a girl. He is not a girl. <laughs> Common fucking sense. If you don't have girl parts, you're not a girl. Yeah. If you want to be a feminine guy or if you want to be gay, I, if you want to change your body, whatever, that's, that's fine. I, I am supportive of that, but don't call him a girl when he's not a girl. And if I can't call that microphone a sandwich because that's what it feels like. <laughs> I mean, I can't. <laughs> I can't eat that microphone. A sandwich. That's, that's, that's a little like. bit of that's a little bit of a straw man, but um, <laughs> either way, it's it still stands. Like I understand, we can't let you use the girls' bathroom and we can't let you use the girls' locker room. It just, I'm sorry, Lila Perry. Like I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like I, I have no solution for you. <laughs> as as long as you have a penis and you don't have. Any other, like, if you don't have any female organs whatsoever, all you have are male organs, then I am very sorry, but you cannot be allowed to use the girl's locker room or the girl's bathroom. Now, would that change if she uh, looked, if she had, maybe not even sexual reassignment surgery, but just the hormones? Because there are people like um, the girl from Orange is the New Black. I forget her name. Uh, uh, I, I, so, I know a lot of models like Bailey J. Um, there's an actress... There, there's a couple people that look like women. They have breasts. They still have a penis, but they have breasts and they look feminine. Not the lady from Orange is the New Black. Uh, well, well, she did not have a penis, or she doesn't look feminine. No, she doesn't have a penis anymore. Oh, but I mean, like, would would it be okay if these people that look like women to go to the women's bathroom if they still have a penis, but they look like a woman? No, because the people, especially in the high school, they the, young is it the biggest issue be- is the fact that it's in the high school. 
even if they did start to be like, okay, you're going through treatment, you were working to change your gender completely, you're still going to have those asshole girls that are going to pitch a fit. So, well, yeah, but I feel like in that case, it's slightly more justified just because it doesn't open the window that I was talking yeah. about earlier for just dudes to be like, yeah, I'm a girl. Can I go to the girls' locker room now? Please? <laughs> Lindsay, as a woman, what are your thoughts on this? I want to know. What's your thoughts on it? Like, do you think if when you were in high school, if there was a boy that identified as a woman and wanted to use the women's bathroom, would you be, have been okay with it? The bathroom would have been fine with. You're in a stall. No one's there. The what? locker room I probably would have been a little uncomfortable with as yeah. far as that goes. Now, in my brain, in the perfect world, okay, well, yeah, let them use the locker room, but just make sure that it's not when anyone else is in there. But, but again, then you get alienated. alienated yeah. issue. And that's why There's, they give you the whole, the whole other restroom and all that to change into. Alienating there, too. Basically, they want everyone to treat him like a girl when he's not. And I'm sorry, there is no way around it. You can argue with me till your face turns red that, well, <laughs> mentally is all that matters when it comes to boy-girl. No, it's not. Mm-mm. Right. It's yeah. very much not. It's science and it's anatomy. But if you don't agree with us, leave us a comment. Email us at uh, podzilla1985.com. Hotmail.com. Uh, check one of our many Facebooks and let us know. Twitter. Twitter, Instagram, Photo Bucket, uh, ICQ. <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> ICQ. Um, I haven't Snapchat, heard that one in forever. LinkedIn. Oh, Uh-oh. and don't forget, don't forget the illustrious yeah. MySpace. 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 Yeah. FaceSpace. Shoot me a message on uh, World of Warcraft. My book. Yeah. RuneScape. All right. Fuck no. All right. We're going to move on. We're going to move on from Lila Perry. We might re- we'll revisit this in the future. But for right now, I want to move on to uh, our good friend Jimmy Kimmel over at the Gimme, the, Gimme, <laughs> the Gimme Kimmel Show. Because I need more Kimmel in my life. A little bit lighthearted, but not really. If you watch the Jimmy Kimmel Show, which you should, because he's a funny guy. I like Jimmy Kimmel. I just um, I can't get over my resentment from the Saturday man show. Or yeah, SNL. I just was Jimmy Kimmel on SNL, wasn't he? You're thinking Jimmy Fallon. I am thinking of Jimmy Fallon. These You're right. Are two Nobody likes Jimmy Fallon. People. Let's continue. Jimmy yeah. Fallon's so much better. <laughs> no, wait, who is? Jimmy Fallon. He's awesome. You that's are with show. the wrong no, group. That's another show for another time. We're not going to judge that. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel, he posted this video. Billy, did you hear about this? He posted a video a couple days ago, probably a week ago, uh, making fun of YouTube gaming and saying that he can't understand why gamers watch other people play video games. It's another step away from humor, human interaction. And uh, he pissed a lot of people off. A lot of gamers got mad at him. And they should, because I am someone that watches game plays. I watch Let's Plays. If, if it's a game I can't buy or I don't have access to yet, if I just want to see someone play Mario Brothers, because I don't want to play it myself, but I kind of want to hang out and watch it, I get it. But not everybody gets it. But that's not what this is about. I'm not going to criticize Jimmy Kimmel for what he said, because everybody's got their own opinion. I am going to criticize the gaming community who not only responded to Jimmy Kimmel, but responded in a way of saying just flat out, get AIDS, get cancer, uh, called him a fuck boy. They're real so, ignorant. One of them said, I, I dare you to start your car this morning. Oh, shit. Which is just a flat out threat. Well, I mean, honestly, like I feel like that happens in every community. Because like, uh, think about Dana White. You remember how the WWE community reacted to Dana White when he said that uh, we, we, he would expect we to pay ten dollars for fake shit? We never said Dana White get AIDS. Oh, we never you said didn't. that. But a lot, said, of said, a, lot a lot of people did. A lot of people did. So I mean, I don't think that you can really blame the gaming community. Like, there's going to be shitheads like that in every community you mm-hmm. go to. There is. The problem with this though is that Jimmy Kimmel, with his own show, can point it out to the world. Here's what the gamers said, and then he posted all these reactions, and they were bad. <laughs> And it really just kind of embarrasses me as a gamer to be a part of that. It's like when with wrestling, when the fans chant "We are awesome" and they're oh, acting like shitheads. Really yeah. yeah, it embarrasses me as a, as a gamer that that is how gamers responded. They didn't. He said some of them were critique were critiquing and saying, "Well, you know, you just don't understand." Blah blah. But you won't see those. No, you don't see those. No. And most of them were just flat out. I hope you die. So, yeah, he's only going to pick out the ones that are going to boost ratings or the ones that are going to get attention. He's not going to post yeah. the the positive ones or the you know, the actual reasons, like, why they themselves watch it. They're just going to be angry. He and read a couple angry. neutral ones, but... Yeah, but most of them were not. Yeah. <laughs> there was a big... Uh, it's all for the show. Yeah. There there was a big... Uh, a whole bunch of get cancer, get brain cancer. You're old and irrelevant. I mean, they just attacked him. And, damn. Way to go, gamers. If they didn't get enough with Anita Sarkeesian and Gamergate. Let's go for round two, this time against Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh, am I the only one that's upset by this and embarrassed? I mean, we're all uh, gamers. I, I except Lindsay. Like I, I said, it's one of those things. Like relative I've, gamer. Yeah. I've long since gotten over the fact that you know every community again has their shitheads. Mm-hmm. The gaming community has a bunch of very vocal shitheads mm-hmm. yeah. because every single person that plays video games is also attached to some form of social media. Yes. And whether can... it be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, they're all attached YouTube. to some kind of social media. <laughs> and they hide behind their screen almost. They it's hide just like the on the news whenever there's a big accident. They always find the most hickish person possible to ask what happened. Yeah, but this isn't finding I mean, with with the with the way social media is and the way this stuff is, you don't have to find these people. Yeah, no, they, they stick people themselves find out. Yeah. <laughs> They are, pr- and they're proud of it too. They go behind names like, you know, Stoner Boy 42069, and they'll post get brain cancer. What use are you to society? Yeah, it's, like I said, I am, to me, they don't reflect the gaming community because they are a small percentage of the gaming community. They're just a v- small, very vocal percentage. So, I mean, that, that's, that's on television. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's being broadcast on television thanks to Jimmy Kimmel. It is unfortunate that, you know, it's doing that, and now there are going to be people that watch his show that are just like, oh, wow, all gamers are jackasses. Yeah, it's going to give another black guy to gaming. That's what I'm yeah. afraid of. Me- Hold on, give me a second. I'm uh, messaging Asa here. So I think he made a certain someone we know cry. Was it a certain someone that we said we're not going to mention on the show? Yes, who posted something on my wall when I said, hey, guys, give me your feedback on Kim Davis. And now uh, I've said Asa Gray replied to that, and that message is no longer there. Oh, shit. So I'm wondering what went down. <laughs> yeah, that's I can't find it either. Live updates here on the podcast. As our show. talking crashes, because right. everyone is looking at their this. phones, tablets, slash laptops. Laptops. Well, there's not a lot you can say about the Jimmy Kimmel thing. I just think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous that someone would get so upset because one guy doesn't understand the way things are. I don't understand a lot of things. I don't understand, I don't understand how people either. watch fishing shows. And you, so. But you don't go on, uh. <laughs> Fuck no. I, know. I hate, I, I don't, I'm on, like, I, if that was me, I probably would have said the same shit if I was the smartest Jimmy Kimmel to give you that comedic. <laughs> but it's like, I don't get it either. I really don't get, like, I don't see why you'd want to watch them. It just depends on my mood. Sometimes I like. Let's say a game came out and I don't, I don't have it, and I'm going. I want to see what the game plays. Want to see like. what the game's like. I just don't get understand. I guess they just, there, there are some also, really boring ass ones on there, yeah, but there's, there's some that are actually pretty interesting. What, would you not utilize a tool if you were interested in a game, but you didn't know if you would like that game? Would you just run out and spend sixty bucks to buy it, well, or would you first watch some videos on it? Well, I would actually come down to Seven Hundred Nine Broadway and I play for four dollars an hour. Hey, cheap plug. <laughs> All right, I like that. I like thumbs <laughs> up. Yeah. But no, like, uh, I know I don't do the YouTube thing. Like, I don't really watch a whole lot of stuff on YouTube. But I do like to watch Twitch, like the live streaming stuff. Yeah, that's. Funny. I also and like Twitch. That, like, the reason I watch that, uh, watching other people play games on Twitch, is mostly for the community aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Because you've got the chat there that you can actually, you know, you can talk with people mm-hmm. in the chat, and you can talk with people talking with the chat to the person playing. And yeah, it's it's a community thing there. And I did see you and uh, Katie, the filthy casual, do the live stream of depth, and then I had to leave. And it was cool to see you know interacting with it. But a lot of the times when I watch Twitch, and it's an attractive girl, especially the kinds that wear the the tank tops, and they're kind of fishing for it, but not really. It shouldn't matter type thing. Mm. Just because she has breasts, get over it type thing. But the comments are just, wow, look at those titties. Uh, how big are those? Will you show us your panties? Stuff like that. And it's <laughs> embarrassing. Goddamn gamers. Why do you have to be so fucking socially awkward? That, I find like that only <laughs> really happens on like, uh, the more popular one, like Casey Tron, I think is Oh it yeah, is? Casey yeah. Tron. And I feel, you know what? I used to, I used to be kind of a prick about it. And I would go, well, she's showing her tits off right there. Of course she wants it. But it really shouldn't matter how much you show off. If if these people are playing games and they're good at them, that should be all that matters. If a woman wants to be sexy because she's sexy, more fucking power to her. You know, that shouldn't be the focal point of her existence is, wow, look at those titties. <laughs> <laughs> I, no. I, I don't like to watch the YouTube stuff either. I don't get into the game grumps uh, like Steven and Krista and those guys do every fucking five seconds constantly. The goddamn game grumps song stuck in my fucking brain. I don't get into that. I don't get into uh, Peanut Butter Gamer. I don't watch PewDiePie. I don't watch Markiplier. I don't want a guy screaming and trying to be funny the entire time. I like to watch Twitch like you because a lot of the time it's just people playing games and interacting. 
Right. It's not, I'm going to make a funny video and scream every five seconds and cuss. Because if you have to fucking cuss all the time to be funny, then you're fucking worthless. God damn. And that's the other thing about, like, the... <laughs> I see what you did there. You see what I did there? Okay. Huh. Do you see what I did there? I, I, I guess kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, shouldn't I forgot what I was going to say? I'm sorry. That's, that's all right. <laughs> it, it probably failed. wasn't important. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm trying to wait for you to get it back. I, I, Come on, dude, I got nothing. Move on. Move on. Move on. The good time we got, the good main event. Oh, yeah, now? I guess we, we can, we can rewind a little bit, like, because you mentioned that it makes it sound almost like that's what Katie was doing. Wait, that and, she was doing what? Uh, Casey Tron. No, no, no. Yeah, I just, I just want to, uh, no, make the, sure the, everybody is aware with the filthy casual, like that one. The interactions on there were, were pleasant. Yeah. It was, hey, what are you playing? Uh, hey, it's good to see you. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? It wasn't, like I didn't see anyone go, "Hey, Case, uh, hey, Katie, bend over and show us your thong" or anything like that. No, it wasn't embarrassing. But God damn, most of them are. And uh, since I doubt Zach has seen her, there's Casey Tron for you, buddy. Oh, I've seen her. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he With shed a tear. Wink right. for her. Yep. And yes, she does angle it down at her boobs a little bit. But my God, if I was in great shape, like if I look like fucking Randy Orton, <laughs> I would live stream shirtless every. Time. Yeah, but would you if do If you were that? with Seth Rollins, you would do it naked. Would I suck a N64 <laughs> controller? Maybe. It depends on how many donations <laughs> I get. Depends got. on where you yeah. got. You know where that's yeah. been? Like here. 709 Broadway. 709 Broadway. They oh, clean it. Means I, no, they, you, uh, you don't even go anywhere else for games, do you? No, actually, I don't. <laughs> I'll throw you my pre for a minute. I'll throw <laughs> my pre-orders for this fall. I've been through here. Yeah. All right. There's a bunch coming out. And yeah, I'll probably watch some Let's Plays on them. You'll let me. You'll watch them. Fuck it, I don't know. Because I'm definitely gonna watch, uh, I'm gonna watch some gameplay of Battlefield. Okay, by the way. Oh, there uh, it is. That's not good. It just, it stopped, like it was recording, but it stopped moving. So it looked like it was paused, and I thought, uh oh. Ruh oh. Ruh oh, Ray. Are you guys talking about? Pre orders? Pre orders, yeah. Like, oh, I, yeah, don't I, I plug it as much as I can. Like, did we ever stop talk about the Davis X? We talked about that on, uh, the Thursday show, didn't we? I don't we? think we did. I actually wanted to bring it up. I was gonna bring it up on the next Nerd Up. Obviously, well, you can we couldn't do it, do it to today, explain to Zach why, well, why he not, should not pre order. Because last, last year they had the Hulk Hogan edition. Which, and that's great. No, there's a, a spe- special editions are different. Yeah, yeah. And that's, okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's special editions. No, collector's editions are awesome because you get extra content. We're talking about pre-order stuff. Like, there's a game coming out called Deus Ex, uh, Mankind Divided. I think yeah. Um, what and they've boys done, are dividing mankind right now. Yes, because what they did was their pre-order system is tiered. So if enough pre- people pre-order the game, you'll unlock a second set of bonuses. If enough people pre-order more, a third set. All the way up to the fifth with tier, which is you get the game four days early. So unless people pre-order the game. That's what my basketball one is. But it's not tiered. No. It's just if you pre-order it. But how about that NHL pre-order I did the other day for me? I was like, hey, what's the pre-order? Can we look it up real quick? And you're like, you get 15 extra coins. It's for terrible. Your, for your player. I was like, what yeah, but, the fuck is this? But this thing, they're holding the game hostage. Imagine, imagine it was They've the already NBA game. got all this oh, content, basically, yeah, and, and not NBA giving game. it to you unless enough people pre-order Yeah, it. if they told you, you'll get the game four days early, but only if so many people put money down on it to begin with. Because this is what people do when they release games they know aren't going to be good, because they'll get as much money as they can as soon as they can. And they can just go. Well, okay. we made our profit. Yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the the thing right here. All right. Okay. So I've got the tier list. Basically, the uh, the first tier to unlock is an extra, in- or what you get for pre-ordering it straight up. You get an extra in-game mission. Oh, and not only that, but you should mention that not only do you have to pre-order it to get the stuff with the tiers, but on each tier you have to vote and choose something. You don't get everything in that tier. Right. So yeah, uh, the aesthetic, the first tier that you unlock is the aesthetic weapon or armor packs. The uh, second tier is the digital original soundtrack sampler. Gay. Uh, the third tier is. Did you just say gay? Or you know, I think that's I think that's the second tier is that you get the soundtrack comic book. We talked book, about this novella and art book. <laughs> Why are you standing over me? She just said gay, <laughs> and that's what you want to do to me? Stand over me? Oh, yep, I like I that. Yeah. Uh, we always say what? Sorry, Billy. That's, that's a great picture. Well, you didn't say sorry, well, Billy. Sorry, Billy. So anyway, let it happen again. <laughs> he let you so this doesn't have the rest of the tier list, unfortunately. But yeah, the first one is like you would choose between like an armor pack or a, wep- or a weapon pack. The second one, you get like some extra in-game stuff. No, that's the fourth tier is the novella and the comic book. Yeah, Shit, I wish I could just find this. But, but like, the, the top tier, everyone's just going for the top tier because it's four days early. So what you're saying is you've got the game ready, but you're not going to give it to me four days early. You're not going to give it to me early. Unless, Unless enough, enough people, people s- promise they're going to buy it. Yeah, and that's ridiculous. And it has caused them a, a ton of uh, 
negative feedback. Lame. Yeah, that is yeah. lame. It's terrible. And it's one of those things, like, it's, and the reason that is this is happening is because people are getting to this pre-order mindset. Like, people are pre-ordering games. It used to be that you would just pre-order a game to make sure you got a copy. Now you pre-order a game to make sure you can get the full game. Yeah. And I don't know if I heard you evolve. Your, what, what was your basketball example again? Because I don't, I don't think he I gets heard the that. game four days early. Okay. Yeah. Now, automatically. Basically, so this is actually what's happening if you compare this to other games. Imagine you buy a basketball game, but you have to pre-order it to get the Chicago Bulls. I wouldn't buy it. Exactly. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I would say fuck that game. So yeah, and that's that's effectively what video games are becoming now. Like, if you want the full game, you've got to pre-order it. It's like with the basically the way Evolve works, Shannon briefly brought that one up. In order to get a monster, like which is a huge part of the game, it's a character in the game. Mm-hmm. In order to get, uh, basically, I think they only have three monsters by default. To get the fourth monster, you had to pre-order it. Otherwise, you could wait until later and pay $15 for the monster. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a big it's pile of horseshit. Yeah. Yeah, and I refuse to play Evolve at all now because of that. And to bring this full circle real quick, before we move on to the uh, the main event, uh, they just released a new video of Jimmy Kimmel sitting down with Markiplier and, um, I don't know this other person, Mrs. What's her name? Doubtfire. Mrs. May. Never heard of that person. I've heard of Markiplier though. Mm-hmm. And apparently Kimmel comes, I haven't watched it yet, but from what I'm reading on Polygon.com, <clears throat> maybe biased because it's a game site, that Kimmel comes across as an asshole who just kind of mocks them the entire time. Well, isn't that, well, it's like he's trying to be David Letterman. With that sarcastic mocking tone, yep. but he needs to realize he will—he's not David Letterman. Well, Anatomically, he's not David Letterman. But what, but what about like Daniel Taj when he has like his like uh, web redemptions and he brings the people in who had those fucked up videos? Are really funny, and he makes fun of the whole time, but they play along with him. They do. They're, they're they kind play of, along with him for a paycheck. Well, and plus you I'm can sure tell. Jimmy Kimmel? Hmm? Wouldn't Jimmy Kimmel give him a paycheck? Oh, I doubt he's I, paying. I, I doubt it. Yeah, I mean, Markiplier makes more money than Jimmy well, Kimmel. Well, hell, they're getting publicity. That's what someone site. on one of the accounts said. You're just mad because they make more money than you. I mean, it's it's true. Like, PewDiePie makes more money than most actual celebrities. I don't know if that's true. He makes $5 million a year. I'm pretty sure. What? T- yeah. Oh, hell. I'm about to fucking leave. That's so serious. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, PewDiePie Randy makes $5 million a year. A year. Yeah. Like, just to sit around and play games and say things like, hey, everybody, it's PewDiePie. I'm not listening to. I'm, not, I'm out of this conversation. Until we go to you know, game. PewDiePie is. I I can't stand PewDiePie. He's Swedish. Yeah, uh, he should talk more like a her for her. Yeah, no, PewDiePie has like the biggest <laughs> worldwide following, and just like and he signed with Disney. Yeah, he's, he's fucking owned by Disney. Yep, yeah. he's a Disney princess at this point. <laughs> they actually like Disney is releasing, uh, like the the Disney toys. Don't look releasing. at Zach. He's out of this conversation. <laughs> They're releasing, <laughs> right, right at Shannon. <laughs> we'll yeah, Disney we'll is on to the, on releasing the toys for famous YouTubers. Why? Well, they've already got Tube Heroes, which is like the, it's like the farm league of YouTubers. People I've never heard of, but apparently they're popular. I, I don't know. The you video game industry's name. gotten weird. Remember when you used to pop a cartridge in and play? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. Like, I've never understood PewDiePie, but yeah, no, he gets it. Stop saying I'm not in this conversation. I, well, yeah, but you don't know any Stop of this talking information about PewDiePie. does. Yeah, yeah, it's five million dollars a year, Zach. Five million dollars. Oh, hey, Asa a year. just said he's legit excited to listen to this show. Boy, he's gonna be disappointed. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't think our views. Well, uh, let's uh, let's let's move on to the main point. Let's yes, move on to the main, the main event. event. I had an argument about this yesterday. We're looking forward to this all day. I, when Zach said this he wanted to be on, on the show, show, yeah, I thought okay, he's in favor of this woman. Fuck I don't know that. why I thought. I just thought okay, he's passionate about. It. Maybe he's in favor of I'm it. I'm upset. Like it's We're twice that you you have thought things of me, and both of them are highly wrong. I think lots of things of you, some of which we say on the air. <laughs> I don't hear them. <laughs> don't go back and listen to it. All right, Zach so the show. I'll, ta- I'll no. start tagging you in the show. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a new hashtag going around, Jesse. Do you know what it is? What, what's that? Kim Davis for president. <laughs> what? There, there's no way that's a trending hashtag. Kanye for president is. I know Kanye for president is because he already thinks he's president. So. Also, uh, no to sodomite perversion. What? We must all get, obey God rather than men. With a, a picture of Martin Luther King. Uh Jesus Christ. Let's go to I the, don't want to live on this planet They had a anymore. rally for Kim Davis. Okay, if you don't know who Kim Davis is, she's a county clerk out of bumfuck uh, Kentucky. Now, where is it? Uh, uh, Clark County, Kentucky? I think that's right. Yeah. Clark County sounds right. Uh, she don't ref- quote us. She refuses to give out marriage license. 
cis to anybody, not just gay people. It started out with it started just gay. Yeah, but now it's gay and straight. And she claims religious uh, that she's being forced to do it, and it's against her religion. And a lot of people have gotten upset about it. It got really bad when she's now being sued by two of the yeah two of the couples, maybe four of the couples. I forget. Uh, two gay, yeah, two gay, two straight. And not only that, but she was held in contempt of court, and she's in jail for contempt. Now, until she decides to do her, until job. she decide or resign, I resign. Yeah. Now, <laughs> there are people, there are certain people we won't mention, mention, <sighs> we won't name them because they don't want to be named. But you could probably guess who it is. That's all I'll say. Who, uh, who, uh, <laughs> what? I, I, Just nah, I don't know what that motion is. That was uh, weird. They hold this woman as a hero and a martyr. Uh, I actually saw a picture that was going around yesterday. Uh, it was actually it was a picture of a soldier and a picture of this bitch <laughs> that was um, I forget her name sometimes. So if I if I just say this bitch, I'm referring to her. Uh, Kim Davis. Anyway, Kim Davis. Uh, picture of her and it was like this isn't what courage looks like. This is what courage looks like. That really pissed me off. Wait, it, the. They're saying that she's more courageous than a soldier? Yes. What? But, but crazy Republicans love the military. Seriously. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a picture. It was a soldier in one side, and it's like, this isn't what courage looks like. And then this bitch in the right side that said, right. this is what courage looks like. All right, let me just channel it real quick. Um, let me just back the mic up a little bit. This might get loud, folks. She is not a fucking hero! You idiots! She is manipulating you! How stupid can Americans be that this woman who had four marriages, the first of which she had a baby with the third husband, and tricked these other motherfuckers into raising the kid, that this lying, cheating whore is a hero and a martyr for your goddamn religious crusade, you bunch of archaic motherfuckers, with your belief... God damn, you make me hate God! You make me hate God, all of you. You do more against the Christian faith than a million brick and mortys. I don't know. I'm angry now. I need a drink. <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. So, yeah. yeah, no, that that picture really did piss me off. Like I saw that and the the person that that uh liked it, it was actually shown to me. Otherwise, like I don't think I could have hit the unfriend button hard enough. I would I would have had to buy a new mouse. Just because I would have broken my mouse clicking unfriend. And it's not all Christians that believe this woman is legit. Let me just state that. Louis himself said, how can, can I distance myself from this woman far enough? There are some people that realize that she is a joke. That she is a, a, a mask. I mean, she's just... <laughs> She's not standing up for her religious beliefs because if you stand up for your religious beliefs, if you're in a place that you disagree with what they're doing, you don't come into work every day and accept a free paycheck and not do your job. You quit if your convictions are strong enough. This woman has no convictions. Right. Yeah, it's like she she wants to stand up for her religious beliefs, but not so much so that she's going to turn down that fat government paycheck. Yes, and she's an elected official. So right. you can't fire her. No. But she can resign. Right, but she, she can, doesn't resign. She can be impeached. Uh, there is a. I don't know about that county. I know in Cape County you can impeach elected officials. Oh, they were going but to do what? They They're were, going to impeach her. They were, they okay. were thinking about it. So yeah, like basically. Now I don't know if you guys know how much even small county officials get paid. Enough. Um, there's <laughs> there's a, a, a local county um, that that's you know very nearby where we're at here. Might even be, you know, the county we're here. God, we didn't ask for your life story, Stream Bean. Elected officials in this <laughs> county start out at seventy-five grand per year as their salary, and that's a lot of money. Think yeah. of think of how much that money could do for Jesus. <laughs> so basically, this this woman, she won't do her job, but uh, she'll take the paycheck for it. And Jesus Christ! Oh, there he is again. The people that go, she's a hero. She's standing up for religious beliefs. No, she's not. She's taking free money to yeah. sit there and do nothing. She should have walked out of office and started protesting if she really wanted to. She should have said, I belief. disagree with this. This goes against everything that I stand for. I will not be a part of this. Not, well, I don't agree with what you're doing, but as long as you're paying me to sit here and act like a fucking big shot so all the simple-minded people out there with their Bibles can praise me and cheer on me as an idol, 
I'm just going to sit right here on my fat white ass and collect that money. Zach, I know you want to talk <laughs> oh, about God this. Damn, What's I've going been on? Waiting to get in. Get in here. Okay. First of all, it's one thing I was thinking about the other day. I had an argument with somebody about this. I'll get into that in a second. But one of the things that made me angry when I saw this was she was, all those people, remember, you see, you, we all seen the video where the people are in her office saying, do your job. Yeah. And she told them, and one of her statements was, you all need to leave my room right now because I have business to do. And you have a fucking line out the door of what's a job. <laughs> that, that you're not doing. That you're not doing. And so the other day I was, I was at, uh, Kaylee's grandma's yesterday, and one of her uncles said, I like what she did. She's doing the right thing. And I was like, but she wasn't doing her job. And he says, well, there used to be a time where people would respect uh, religious belief. And I'm like, we, we, we still we still do. We still respect religious belief. And he's like, well, they're, they're attacking Christians. Nobody's attacking the Christians. No. I, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian, prop, I no. assume. No. Well, no. Well, no. Nope. No. Well, then I'm a Christian. And... No, I'm not, not at this rate I am. Well, <laughs> I'm not attacking anybody. And he says, "Well, I think what she does right." And I was like, "I don't care if you if that's what her belief, that's her belief. But yeah. you don't become an elected official. You people vote to put you in there. You have to do your job by law. That is your job. And what happens yeah. to you if you don't? You get taken to jail. Sorry that you don't agree with that, but that's the law. If you don't do your job, you are held in content until you decide to do it. If you do not like the outcome or the rule, law and you don't want to do it, fucking resign. Resign. Quit. The the Agreed. laws do not protect. They protect religious freedom, but they do not protect religious freedom that impedes on others' rights or that is against the law. This isn't a moral issue. And this the, is a legal issue. One of the big things that's really frustrating me about it, the whole gay marriage thing in general, people are still confusing sacramental marriage with civil marriage. With civil marriage. Yes. They're two very, very different things. Yes. I'm glad you brought that up because I wanted to and I knew I was going to forget it. So thank you. Yeah. Like, it's not the same fucking thing. No. It's not, the law is not allowing these people or not forcing your churches to marry homosexual couples. Yeah. They aren't. They are allowing these people, yeah, they're allowing these people to go to the recorder of deeds or the whatever you call it in your account or in your county and sign a contract saying that they are married and they have the same rights under like our government. Under the law. Under the law. That's, uh, opposite sex couples get. It's a civic union. Right. It, it is, it is not forcing God to recognize your marriage. You can sit over in your corner with your Bible and your cross and laugh because you got it all figured out and those people will go to hell in the end and you'll go to heaven. So what do you care? What do you care? Let them get married. That is the law. That is the law. That is the job you agreed to do when you were elected and because the laws have changed doesn't give you the right to stop doing it because you don't agree with it. Mm-hmm. Quit. Or or do it. That is your two options. Now, there is a woman that you will not hear about that I read about today, and you will not see this all over the news. Jeff Cunningham won't be talking about this person because she ain't Christian. Uh, but there's a woman named, I'm going to mispronounce this probably, uh, Chari Stanley. She's a Muslim woman who has been suspended by ExpressJet because she refused to serve alcohol because of her Islamic faith. She wouldn't serve alcohol to passengers, and she was suspended for it. You will not hear about this. This is the same thing. Sort of. Actually, except she's not a government official. I was about to say, in my opinion, this is completely different because she's not holding a public office. No. Like, by law, they have to recognize her rights as an equal opportunity employer. Yeah. So make another stewardess serve the alcohol. Which is apparently what they did, but then the other stewardesses filed a complaint saying, well, this woman isn't doing her job. Why should we have to do it? Also, she has a headdress and books with weird writing on them. Is what it fucking said. Oh God! Are you Jesus kidding Christ. me? Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Welcome yeah. to today at lunch. Oh God! At Culver's, as Jesse, Lindsay, and I sat there next to a group of old white folk. Thanks for inviting. Well, you weren't part of the show. This was the wrap-up party. Uh, we record two shows on Sunday, folks. Cat out of the bag. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we had to sit there and listen to these old motherfuckers just jib jab about uh gay cakes and and not having to do things for the gays and we shouldn't have to do it. And I will be so glad when people like that die. I will be glad when they die, go to heaven, we go on up there like they with were Jesus. Gonna keel yeah. over on that table. Like they these well, people were in like their late eighties, early nineties. As we talked and got louder with our conversation, I thought they were gonna keel over. Because I know at least a couple of them heard us and were getting angry. Oh yeah, I kept waiting for one of them to try and confront us on it. That's that's a you want some too old it, man? <laughs> isn't like Culver's one of those really religious places? It is, no. and yeah. I told, that's, that's I one of the reasons that. I almost hate. Yeah. Why the fuck is that phone ringing? Oh, that's a uh, I really is that almost, BB. 
That's it's beepy. Yeah, I beepy. really almost really hate even going to places like Popeyes and Culver's because it's only people who are so closed minded that don't want to think of anything else other than what they believe in and who are too uh, scared to think of anything else could happen. But the food is and so it, damn tasty. Uh, mm. Mm. I, I haven't been to Chick uh, Chick Fil A uh, since that whole incident happened. It just a while every, back. everything about that just pisses me off. It it's stupid. How can a a functioning society believe this whore of <laughs> Maybe I should stop. No, she's a whore. No, she's she's a whore. going. It's yeah. fine. She tricked her. She tricked her first husband like into raising kids that weren't his. Well, what is it? I, a rake? No cunt. Oh, well, she. I was gonna do this thing where I was gonna have like uh, something to make noise. I was gonna wait for which one of you said cunt first. I was gonna go. That's the day secret word. <laughs> and uh, start. I win. Do I win? You won. Culvers. <laughs> That's the c word. <laughs> Yeah, but how can a functioning society really believe that this person is a hero? And here's the worst part of it. The absolute worst part of it is we're sitting here complaining about it and we're talking sense that they don't <laughs> want to hear because that, what is the old census quote? Uh, religion has no place in school, just like facts have no place in organized religion. <laughs> um, we're sitting here complaining about this when this woman is going to be a millionaire after this. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. that's what she's Sometimes doing. they make a lifetime movie out of this. They're going to make a movie. She's got a book deal. Fox News has probably already got a show for her lined up. Moran's ready for his morning. debut. Moran, yeah. <laughs> fucking miserable this morning when I had to listen to the conversation about this. It's it's a right, terrible thing. Fucking and it's, terrible. You know who it's bad for? It's bad for us as... Uh, we're not atheists by any means, but it's bad for us who are not of the faith. It's also bad for Christians. Because this woman is making Christianity look bad. She's also f- tricking Christians into thinking that she's their hero when she's not a hero. Yeah. She's a woman who had a kid with her first, or with her third husband, made her first husband raise it. She's been married four times. She's a liar. She's a cheater. She's a manipulator. And that's what she's doing right that now. That was before she found God. He Shannon. comes around at the most convenient time. She's still like fucking elected official. You just yeah. gotta do your goddamn job. What's well, so yeah. fucking law? She is sitting right now in jail knowing that the longer she holds out, and the longer that they think she's a hero, the more money she'll the more make. Money she's gonna yeah, make when she's about out. to get paid. She is, and that's the fucking worst part of it. Is that the worst part of society is gonna get paid off this shit? I'd rather while watch people gamers. that want to get married and have a life and build a future together aren't allowed to because of cunts like Kim Davis who sit there on their fucking high and mighty pedestal and and throw their weight around and won't let it happen. And that's fucking ridiculous. It it's, it really is. It's really ridiculous. Billy. <laughs> nothing, nothing. I just <laughs> nothing. <laughs> my favorite part about this whole story is when I got on Facebook and I, me and Jesse talked about it and probably knew that West Wing skit. Oh yeah, that was so fucking good. It is a great. It is a great skit. You should probably let the end of the show just let that play. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Just, I just like get so pulled, enjoy it, the audio. Enjoy for the. It. Oh god, will we get pulled from YouTube? Fuck. It's on uh, Facebook. It's, I mean, it's already on YouTube. Like, all right. Well. Yeah, it should be fine. So that's how we feel. God, it's just so, that's our so our feel is uh, Kim Davis should not only be thrown in jail, she should be executed for crimes against common sense. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> I'm not gonna say execution. I think she should quit her job. She or, should quit life. Give the Christians their own island. Yeah, if, if they feel that strongly, no, 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 yes. no the the crazy ones. It's okay. Christiania. The closed minded yeah. Christians. The clo- the yeah. the kind of Christian that even Christians hate. Like, what let is them it? go onto their own island where they can hate everybody. Well, no, but they already they. Christians founded this country and they already made it the great country that it is today. I you know it just pisses me so off. So why would they leave? I, I just, <laughs> it just pisses me off so many people care so much about other people. Like, I don't give a fuck what you do for a living. I don't care how you believe in certain things. But when it affects the lives of others, yeah. it's a whole different story. Like, I have a gay brother and it doesn't bother me at all. And I don't see why it should bother anybody else. No, it's like, it's just, well, to, I have gay friends. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> like, it, like Sorry, why Billy. should it bother anybody else about how they feel or think or whatever? It doesn't bother me. Well, see, that's the thing. I, like to quote an individual that requested not to be named on this show. Um, his response to that always is like, "You're a bad Christian, then." Shut because, the fuck up. I know because your deal, like as a Christian, allowing your brother to sin makes you just as bad as your brother. No, listen to this. There was one day through an so- action. something was happening. It was a porn incident we had here with one of the game systems. There was porn on it. Yes. And he told me, I was bad Christian for looking at it, right? Mm-hmm. And I said, I watch porn. He's like, well, you're a bad Christian. Kaylee said, well, I watch porn. He's like, well, he didn't say you're a bad Christian, but he says something, you need help. Or you, she, you, she needs help, but you're just going to hell. Yeah, I'm going to hell. And I'm a bad Christian, but she's just... She's, yeah. let, me, let me just... I can't even do the exact words, but basically he said... You're okay. Let me just flat out say it like this, and I mean this. And if this loses me any friends, so be it. If you believe Kim Davis is a hero, I don't like you. 
I am I am officially saying that if you believe she is a hero, I don't care if you think she's if you don't agree with gay marriage and everything, that's fine. You have the right to your belief. Whatever. I will respect that. It's not what I believe in, but I will respect that. But if you believe this woman is a hero and a martyr and an idol for the Christian faith, you're an idiot and the world would do better with less people like you. Yeah, so. honestly, you could just go ahead and unfriend yeah. me from Facebook, save me the time. Where, yeah, uh, yeah, cause honestly, if you truly believe that this woman is a great individual and deserves to be praised, yeah, fuck you. You don't deserve to live in this country. Please don't procreate. Uh, I will pay well, for your vasectomy. <laughs> don't worry, I don't think or... there's, I don't think you have to worry too much about that one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so that's what we think. But what do you guys think? We asked you to uh, give us some feedback. What's your opinions on it? I got some of those right now. Uh, Joe Vernola. Me and Joe go way back. We used to be in CWR together. It's a little. I have a question. Yeah. Well, Somebody is not agreeing with what you said on there. Are you going to unfriend them live on the live on air? Live on the air? I don't know. I don't want to embarrass anybody, <laughs> and that's the I'm reason we we are not naming names because I don't want to exploit people's ignorance. That's not what this show's about. That's what every other show is about, not this one. Anyway, Joe, uh, Joe said the woman has no concept of separation of church and state and should have been thrown in jail way sooner. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dalton, who works over at uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Let's just say I Dalton. Think- We'll just say Dalton. He said, uh, little brat's trying to act like the victim when she was denying people their human rights of marriage. Also super hypocritical because she disagrees with the government's rulings, but has no issue collecting a check for, for working for said government. Yes. Yep. That is the best right there. You hit it right on the, right on the head. Uh, Amanda, old friend of ours, uh, said that she agrees with this post she saw and she didn't agree with the job and blah, blah, blah. I want to see what the post was again. Oh, it's what Jesse actually mentioned. This isn't a religious argument. This is a difference between civil and sacramental marriage. A couple married by a judge or justice of the peace is not married in the eyes of God. A civil marriage is a simple contract between two people. Trying to force the definition of sacramental marriage upon the government is destroying the separation of church and state. We need to stop treating civil marriages like sacramental ones. And that's right. That's absolutely yeah. right again. That on. Uh, Stephen Taylor says, I'll just report what I said earlier, or repost what I said earlier. The most shocking thing that, uh, for this, uh, out of this for me isn't the regular run of the mill face palming that this kind of situation causes due to certain elements of our society. Instead, what I have found most disturbing is just how uneducated people are about the justice system. You won't believe how many comments I've seen from people in our area that believe she was jailed inappropriately and, uh, going as far as to call for violence due to tyranny. In other words, there are people living among us who believe that violating a court order isn't breaking the law. Idiots. Our old friend Chelsea mm. says she's crazy. She should have lost the job way sooner. She was trying to play God with other people. If she felt it was wrong to issue the licenses, which she did for straight couples too, I guess for protest, she should have quit. If I was refusing to do my job, you bet your ass I get fired and fired quick. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Blake says she needs to watch Tu Wong Fu. Not sure <laughs> what that's about. That's more of a, that's more of a tra- transgender rights issue right there. Tu Tu Wang Fu, uh, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar, starring Wesley Snipes. Uh, I I heard there was a movie coming out with Wesley Snipes, Patrick Swayze, and John Leguizamo. I was like, oh sweet, these dudes are gonna kick some ass. They're they're in drag the whole time. It's a it's a great movie. (laughs) Huh? Uh, Hunter, Hunter, that's all I'll say. Famous. Uh, Hunter Famous, Hunter Chapman says something else (laughs) to keep in mind. The woman can't be fired despite the fact that she should be. She's an elected official and the General Assembly is still months away. I'll be curious to see if she's reelected though. I, you know what? I bet she will. Sad thing is she probably will. She probably will. Because con- controversy creates cash, basically. That's how yeah. you can look at it. And people, people want to see the next stupid thing she's going to do. And there's enough crazy Christians out there. And again, I'd like to stress the difference between crazy Christians and people of the Christian faith. Uh, the crazy Christians will vote her back into office because she's a hero. Fuck that. I could have sworn there was something in there about worshiping no one else as an idol other than I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I, I see. I think I feel like if uh, she actually does run for re-election, well, she oh, shit. Yeah, that 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 county probably runs primary elections, and she'll probably get the Republican ticket. I'm sure Trump will fucking. <laughs> and he's next vice. He'll president. nominate He's next vice president. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, finally, Bryant said uh, it's hard to listen to someone cry. It's against their beliefs when they are a uh, when they're a walking contradiction of everything else they are supposed to be following. Either way. Uh, SCOTUS declared it unconstitutional and she is obligated to uphold it. Absolutely. There it is. It's legally she has to do it or quit. This is not a, she's not a religious hero. She's just a lazy ass worker. Right. And a terrible, terrible human being. Last thing I want to mention before we wrap this up, uh, Sarah Palin said today that, uh, she fully respects the Mexican people and that if they're here, they should be here legally and two, they should speak American. Hey, real quick, did you see Cody Sandusky posted on that? No, I didn't. I didn't get the update. Yeah, what did he say? I, uh, I got you here. 
I do have a question that I am curious about hearing discussed. Since this is a ruling from SCOTUS and not direct law, which can only be passed by Congress, is she actually refusing to abide by law? The ruling, as I understand it, states that barring same-sex marriages is unconstitutional, but does immediately allow for same-sex marriage countrywide. This is a portion of the debate that I would like to hear discussed amongst the PZ-85 crew. And honestly, Cody, to answer your question, uh, if the Supreme Court declared it unconstitutional, that means it's it's law. Like, by the Constitution, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it's, it is law that does allow for same-sex marriages nationwide. Uh, this is one of those situations. I, I, I think it was a Futurama quote. Uh, let's, let's, shit, I ah, fuck it. I forgot the Futurama quote and I'm not going to butcher it. <laughs> this is not a state by state issue, by the way. This, right. This is not like, all right, well, it was legal in this city, in this state and not this state. So is it unconstitutional in this state? It's unconstitutional everywhere mm-hmm. to deny gays the mm-hmm. right to marry. Yeah. It is, it is not like this is up for debate anymore. It is law. Yeah. It is law, and she is breaking the law. And not only that, but she's not just doing it. Even if, all right, even if you have reservations about the gay thing, she also denied licenses to straight couples, therefore breaking the law again. So she's breaking the law all over the place. Right. And again, you can't expect to not do your job and no repercussions. The person that we, we shall not name said that, uh, well, she still did most of her job, so she should still be paid for what she did do. No. That's not how it works, man. No. If I did half my job, I'd be fired. Yeah, you can't right. go in and say, I'll do three-fourths of what I'm supposed to do and get someone else to take care of the rest. It's like, I can't come into uh, Gaming Grounds, located on 709 Broadway, for all your gaming needs. Do pre-orders. <laughs> I, uh, we have Surge. <laughs> get them while they're still here. And just, like, cold. decide that I'm not go- I'm not going to sell video games to customers anymore. I'm not going to sell Xbox 360 games anymore. You don't feel comfortable selling games anymore. Right. Like, you'll clean and you'll talk to people, but you don't feel comfortable selling games. Therefore, you should be paid for the parts you do do. Yeah. No. That's not how it fucking works. No. Yeah. I will fire you and get someone that will do everything. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just in this particular situation, she can't be fired because she's an elected official. Right. So, yeah, she's going to go to jail. She's holding the, the country by the balls is what she's doing. She's holding us by the balls because she has no uh, – we can't punish her through, you know, by, by getting rid of her. She can punish herself. The only reason she's in jail is because she will not abide by – the rules that she's supposed to abide by. She could resign and get out of jail right now. Mm-hmm. Right. And still stand up for her convictions. Right. But she's not. But instead She's taking she... you for a ride. Yeah. And you're falling for it, people. She's uh, she's decided she's going to be a martyr. And uh, she's going to get so much money in donations. In, oh, yeah. Uh, she's set for life. Yeah. This fucking hick bitch is set for <laughs> life. <laughs> she's going to write a best-selling book. If she can write. Yeah, assuming she has She's from ability. Kentucky, right? Yeah. Spell Kentucky for me real quick. Uh, <laughs> me or her? You. Oh, K E N T U C K R E D N E C K. Wait a minute. <laughs> Redneck. I, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's a sad situation, but that's just our opinion. If you don't agree with it, post a message on our, one of our many Facebooks. Uh, message me personally or just so we can unfriend Zach. you. Um, yeah. <laughs> or send us an email at podzilla1985. If you want us to unfriend you personally, just send us a. If you would like us, if you legitimately disagree with what I'm saying here and you're upset about it, send me a message saying I don't want to be friends anymore, and uh, we'll wrap this up real quick. Yeah, I will be happy if you are uncomfortable hitting the unfriend button. Let me know. I'll don't do hide it for behind you. that screen. Actually, tell me you don't want to be my friend anymore. Yeah. Don't just unfriend me and let me find out later on. Well, let us know. Yeah. Let us know. We'll talk about this subject again in the future. I know we will. Uh, but we're going to wrap it up for now. We're 10 uh, minutes over the hour. I was going to ask about Sarah Palin's new coloring book. Does she have one coming out? No. What is it? Well, did you not see the first coloring book? No. Well, her original autobiography? <laughs> <laughs> she, is, are, are you, I thought you were going to tell me she's going to have a second one come out. No, no. She said that uh, uh, Mexicans should speak American. Oh, and that's... I took offense to the fact that she said speak American and not speak English. What a dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, God. She, uh, she ain't too bright. Well, did you see the coloring book? <laughs> <laughs> I love when Katie Couric, Couric tore her apart during those uh, original the uh, the election when she was with John McCain because yeah. what a stupid cunt! Oh, there's the word again. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Three or four? That's, that's four. four. What? It's not four times we said it. No, that's I think it's just three. That's two. I two said for it Shannon. Once. And you said it once. Okay. I said it once. Then you talked about whoever says it gets the game winner, and then you said it twice since then. A lot of cunts on the show tonight. That's five. Well, a whole lot of cunts. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, Jesse, Lindsay, Zach, Billy. 
Yes. Thank you guys for being here and for losing a couple friends with me. <laughs> and maybe making a couple new ones. Honest, honestly, I let's, let's be honest. Live. If we if we actually lost those friends, are we really that upset about it? Well, Not let's really. be honest. If we haven't lost those friends already, that's also true. They're probably going to stick with us. Uh, so thank you guys for listening. If you don't agree with us, let us know. We welcome your feedback. We love it. Uh, also click that like and subscribe button. I don't know. I don't know how YouTube works. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. Rate, yeah, like, YouTube. And subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. Rate, review, and subscribe. Do all the, the things that us. it takes for us to feel like you like us. Because we're sensitive. We, we like your love. We need it. But we still want you to unfollow us. Yeah. Or if you don't agree <laughs> with us, don't. No, it's very confusing. You're it confusing is. the audience. You're contradictory right now. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you tomorrow with a uh, of, new episode of Nerd Up where I was on it. And Lindsay was on it. Woo-hoo. And we talk about uh, convention stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's pretty funny. There's a great, there's a great, never mind. You'll find out tomorrow. Oh, Un- Lord. Until then, have a good night. Respect each other. And uh, try to be a little less douchey. Have a good one. <laughs>